Hello everyone! On the video of Lady Sparkle, you saw me doing a scatter brush on Pencil Say 2. A lot of you got interested by making them all by yourself and asked me how I did it. You also asked me about it on my other video when I sp when you spot the chain and glitter brushes. <laughs> Well, I actually bought them, but I create myself the Twilight Cutie Mark 1, so I know a way to do it. <laughs> so today I'm gonna show you how I do it for Paint to Say 2. I am not an expert and I do it the lazy way, but it works for me, so it might help you anyway. But please let me begin by giving you the link to the brushes I use. It's not free, but it's worth it. It's actually not that expensive. Not to mention, I took so much time to find that link back, so take it and you are welcome! That sounded like a threat. <laughs> so now, with how I do it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it's a lazy way, and actually it's not... It may be not the best way, but it's the easy way. Like, for me, it's really easy, so I, I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> so first of all, you have to go to your program file. I believe you can find it on your documents file or if you don't know where it is, just right click on your program link and go to open file location. Then you go to settings, scatter and there you go. So basically I just open a random brush picture with paint C2 so I make the background all black, I create my design with white and save it as a BMP file. And don't forget to rename it. <laughs> For some reason it doesn't work with paint say BMP format, so I simply resave it with paint.net. I have no idea how to create the configuration settings file, so I just copy paste and rename it at the exact same way as the picture. And boom, you have it now in your program. <laughs> it's actually all you have to do. Like, it's easy, right? I told you it was lazy. <laughs> I don't know how it exactly works actually, but in this way it works, so it's a win. <laughs> I hope this video will help you in any way and see you guys!